time has come to get rid of these AliExpress brakes. So a quick rundown of events. A few weeks ago, I found this group set online. It's 12 speed, it's carbon, and it was 300 pounds off AliExpress. It includes brakes, chain, cassette, almost everything you need to get a bike rolling. And so far, it's been pretty good. Shifting has been smooth and nice, both on the front and the rear. But there's one thing that hasn't been very good, and that is the brakes. Now the brakes are mechanical discs, but they're not made by the same company as the derailers and shifters. The derailers and shifters are made by Sensor. And if you buy a group set like this from the official Sensor store on AliExpress, you end up with these brakes made by Nut. <laughs> to be fair to them, the brakes are functional. They stop, you can lock out the rear wheel if you squeeze pretty hard, but the modulation and how they feel to ride is not very good. And I have to explain here, I've been ruined, my brain has been ruined by using high-end bike parts for so long. Like, it turns you into a bit of a snob. And obviously, entry-level parts don't feel as good as high-end parts. And if you've been riding them for a long time, it's kind of hard to switch back. But the rest of this group set is 12 speed. It's a performance group set, really. It looks like it's made for racing and riding fast, and the brakes don't match up with the rest of it. So, today, I'm gonna change the brakes to something a little bit better. And if my calculations are correct, it's not gonna cost you that much more money than buying this package as a whole from AliExpress anyway. In steps, the Dream Tech F1s, exquisite technology, perfect performance. Big claim. So these are brakes you can buy from AliExpress and Amazon. I got these ones on Amazon and paid a bit of a premium for it. When you order stuff from AliExpress, it comes direct from China, so it can take like six to eight weeks to arrive. I wanted these quicker because I wanted to make a video about it, so I paid a little bit extra. I paid around 130 pounds, but you can get these for less than 100 pounds on AliExpress, depending on the seller. Now, these are a very popular choice when it comes to brakes for a cable-actuated disc brake system because these actually have a hydraulic reservoir, which means there's hydraulic fluid inside the caliper, which is controlled by the pulling of a regular cable. This should mean they have more power and it should mean they feel a lot nicer. Now, I actually know people who use these and say they're very good. Harvey from Sturka, he uses these on his cyclocross bike, he was telling me the other day. They come with a cable tied on, sorry. Disc rotors, you can choose what size and your different length mounting bolts. They also come in different colors. I went for black because, well, black, isn't it? Just to give you an idea of where these sit price-wise, 120-ish pounds, maybe slightly less on AliExpress. You can get Z-Race brake calipers off AliExpress as well, which are about 60 pounds all in with rotors, and then named brands, TRP High Roads. They use the same kind of technology, so a hydraulic reservoir inside the caliper. All of these are a similar design, but you're gonna pay about 240 pounds for TRP High Roads. Significantly more expensive, but potentially better customer service, and you'll be buying them through more known retailers online. So if you need a return, maybe it's gonna be easier. The Z Race ones I actually have on order from AliExpress, so stay tuned for a video on that in the next few weeks. It's just taking a while to arrive, like everything does from AliExpress, really. I'll probably read this safety label, but it's in uh, Chinese. The weigh-in. 314 grams. That's both the calipers with no bolts. And the nut ones. 439 grams, significantly heavier. You can also see how much more, if it matters, aesthetically pleasing the Duintec ones are. These look cheap. They're the kind of thing that you get attached to uh, your bog standard electric scooter, kind of just a bit industrial looking. Whereas these are slick and sleek and racy looking. No rotor, do not press mineral oil. From the instruction manual, which does have some English on it, mineral oil and disc pads compatible with Shimano. Do not use dot fluid with the system. The mineral oil inside of the calipers won't deteriorate easily and there's no need to bleed them regularly, which indicates you could bleed them if you need to. Once set up, there's a small adjustment wheel on the calipers, which you can adjust by hand to adjust how tight the cable is, therefore how much the pads are squeezing on the disc. Definitely a plus compared to hydraulic brakes because pretty much, unless you know how to do a brake bleed, you need to take them to a bike shop to have them adjusted. Whereas these, probably do yourself. Now I guess one nice thing about cable actuated brakes is that uh, they're very easy to switch over. So all I'm doing here is using the same length bolts as I was for the other calipers 
undone everything using the same outer and inner cables as before because they're fine. They were new a few weeks ago and then bolting them on and hopefully they'll just work. Now I'll be honest, I really want these to be good because it's the only big flaw that the group set has or that I have noticed. Let's leave that a little bit loose so we get the wheel in and straighten it up. So brakes are installed. First impressions, not fantastic cable routing there. Uh, you can see how the cable has to bend right around the frame to then connect to the caliper. Maybe could have done with a little bit extra outer cable there to make things smoother, but that's what was in the frame, so I'm gonna deal with it for now. Other bike frames obviously have different position holes for the cables to come out of, so this might just be an issue with my Scott foil. It still works. It definitely feels strong and grippy on the stand. In fact, both of them feel a lot less spongy than the nuts, which is what I was expecting. Now, let's take them outside. For this segment of the video, I've matched my jersey to the June Tech box. Gotta keep the continuity, right? These are strong, like properly, you can lock up the wheel without squeezing that hard. They, better than rim brakes. I would race these. That's how good they feel right now. Longevity, can't comment on. I literally have just put them on my bike, so can't comment, but first impressions, good. Very good. So I set these up with just normal brake housing and the difference is significant between the nut ones and these. There should be considering the price difference and there's definitely more gains to be had if I started experimenting with stuff like compressionless housing, although that gets more expensive as well. I should also mention the performance should get better over the next couple of rides as the pads bed in. Now what about the calculations that I was talking about at the start of the video? Well. This group set cost me 300 pounds, but you can just buy the shifters and the railers for around 200 pounds. Then you could spend around 100 pounds on a set of these. And the only thing you're then missing is chain and cassette. Based on today's experience, I would recommend doing that because the nut ones are just not very nice, especially if you're used to using or have previously used hydraulic disc brakes. Those nut ones just don't feel premium. Whereas these do. I mean, it even says on the box, perfect performance. I mean, it's certainly not perfect and it's definitely not even in the same league as hydraulic brakes. The SRAM red ones that I'm riding on my gravel bike, the Magura ones that are from the Rotor Group set that I had on this bike before, the Dura Ace ones from my old bike and the GRX ones, even the cheaper GRX, outperform these significantly. But you're always gonna have a bit of a compromise when you're using a cable actuated system. So, overall, a good experience with the June Techs. I'm really enjoying experimenting with all this AliExpress stuff. I have some more stuff on order, and uh, if you would like to see anything specifically, put them in the comment section down below, and maybe we can test it on my lovely Scott Foyle. I feel sorry for him. Please subscribe and all of that stuff, and I'll see you guys soon.